हेलो एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक टू आर डेली करंट अफेयर्स वीडियोस सो आई होप योर प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग वेल जब तक अपने टारगेट्स अपने डेली टारगेट्स जब तक आप लोग कंप्लीट नहीं कर सकते तब तक यू डोंट हैव टू लीव योर स्टडी टेबल जस्ट रिमेंबर कंप्लीट वॉट यू हैव स्टार्टड यू हैव टू फिनिश वॉट यू हैव स्टार्टड फॉर द डे एंड एवरी डे यू शुड विन इन योर डेली एम्स एंड गोल्स दैट यू सेट फॉर योर सेल्फ ओके वाई एम आई सेंग दिस बिकॉज द डेट इज अप्रोचिंग राइट यू नीड टू बक अप यू नीड टू इंटेंसीफाई योर प्रैक्टिस एंड मॉक्स एनालिसिस एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स और राइट सो to help you for the video preparation to help you uh, get that extra push you may have a look at the rbi uh, grade b crash course for uh, both phase 1 and phase 2 it is still not late uh, why is it phase 1 and phase 2 complete course because after we ensure that you clear your phase 1 exam right and after you clear your phase 1 very little time is left you know for a comprehensive preparation for phase 2 all right so we intend to equip you for both the phases well enough so that by the time you uh, write your phase 2 exams you are very well thorough with your revision and everything that is there in the syllabus so, so do have a look at our crash course all right and to get our daily updates about quizzes right about our daily current affair pdfs and even your spotlight pdf right spotlight by neha ma'am which you all really appreciate and follow that is there in your uh, app right uh, please download our app from google play store anujinder.in and you will get all your timely updates and exam notifications right you don't have to worry it will save you a lot of time searching websites and you know looking for syllabus we have everything almost everything that you need for your exam and your preparation in one single app All right. So do download it. Be smart. Study smartly, and complete all your targets and goals. All right. So today, instead of uh, you know going through with our daily MCQs, it is a very important event. India has signed a free trade agreement with a developed country, with a very important developed country after more than a decade. Right. So this news piece becomes very very important for us. That is your India Australia economic. economic co cooperation and trade agreement all right so the agreement was uh, it started off uh, the agreement was reinitiated in september 2021 and finally it has been finalized in march 2022 all right so talks have been talks have been around ever since last year and finally uh, the agreement has been signed and it is due to be implemented within 4 years right you recognize these two people right if you don't then what are you doing just at least read your newspaper don't miss your daily newspaper all right even 10 days before the exam you have to read your daily newspaper it is very very important most of the news is also circular so it will also help you with the revision and we are also providing you with daily mcqs and videos so it will double up your revision all right so never miss out reading on the newspapers right it will help you till the interview phase all right so mr piyush goel our minister of commerce and industry and mr dan tehan that is uh, australian uh, equivalent right australian minister for trade tourism and investment they signed the indus ecta pact right as we discussed it is a pact signed by india with a developed country after more than a decade and it will be implemented in 4 months राइट सो इसके की फीचर्स क्या है यार फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट से आप लोग क्या समझते हो वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट राइट फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट बेसिकली क्या है फ्री ट्रेड से आप क्या समझते हो ऑपोजिट टू रिस्ट्रिक्टिव ट्रेड ट्रेड राइट तो ऑब्वियसली इट मीन्स दैट एलिमिनेटिंग ऑल द रिस्ट्रिक्टिव ट्रेड प्रैक्टिसेस कौन कौन सी रिस्ट्रिक्टिव ट्रेड प्रैक्टिसेस होती हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इम्पोर्ट टैरिफ एंड कोटास राइट import tariff quota <coughs> that restricts the movement of goods and services across the borders right kuch restrictive trade practices mein isko bhi count kiya jata hai suppose a country has very complicated visa system right so people to people uh, contact right people to people exchange is not possible right so sometimes free trade agreements also include uh, exchange of people that is your that is a very important component of soft power 
right and you all are aware of the indian diaspora in australia all right we will have a good look about the Aust uh, of australia's visa policy as well first but first let's just have a brief look over the components of this uh, economic cooperation and trade agreement between india and australia all right so india kya hai zero duty access dega australia ko see mainly australia australia is world's biggest reserves for coal nickel cobalt gold and specially most importantly 30% of the um, uranium that is found in the world is actually in australia right australia is home to 30% of the world's uranium resources so it is a very very strategic and an important partner in india in this context all right so what are the main uh, products uh, uh, that are traded between india and australia there are coal sheep meat and wool australia ka bahut hi important aur sabse mehanga wool product hota hai that is merino wool right merino merino wool basically is produced in australia processed in china and it is sold at very expensive rates across the world all right so it india will get finally get a zero duty access on these products coal india has a goal to be a self sufficient economy in coal but still still despite having a range of coal reserves india still is a net importer of coal why because the quality of our coal has has more bitumen content right lignite content ka jisme zyada coal hota hai that is considered to be a cleaner thermal resource right and australia is one of the largest supplier of clean thermal coal clean thermal coal reserves that has more lignite content all right it produces less pollution right less particulate matter it has more efficiency all right and it is very very important for india to import coal and use the existing thermal power capacity right why because discoms are also running into losses so is mamle mein bhi australia bahut important hai right metallic ores metallic ores se basic basic metals kya ho jayenge hamare manganese ho jayenge nickel and cobalt manganese nickel and cobalt are three most important rare earth metals right and in rare earth metals mein sabse zyada india depends on china right most of the rare earth metals are imported from china but australia also has a huge reserve for these rare earth metals so metallic ores and also a continuous supply chain of crucial metals and minerals right we studied in our previous current affairs videos that india and australia khanij bidesh uh, india limited kbil ne australia ke sath ek deal sign kari thi to ensure seamless supply of crucial minerals crucial minerals kya ho jate hain those minerals that are very very important to run the economy right any shortage in those minerals for example coal for example crude it will disrupt economic activity right so that is also important manganese copper and nickel titanium and zirconium is also a very rare earth metal that is also found in australia and new zealand all right currently australia is the 17th largest partner of india india is the last ninth largest partner all right so this ecta aims to make india the third largest trade partner of australia right australia considers indian economy as a very important uh, place as a very important market right uska potential for growth bahut zyada hai so that is very important let's uh, have a look at the targets right increase trade from the current usd 27.5 billion to us yahan pe us dollar ki jab baat ho rahi hai to that means australian dollar right we will discuss about the difference between australian dollar us dollar and the euro currency okay but first let's just have look a brief look at the three key provisions of ecta increase in trade right from 27.5 billion to 40 to 50 billion in next 5 years all right that is by 2025 zero duty access to india for 96.4% of exports by value right so india kya export karta hai australia ko 
mostly finished goods and products right so ye jo 96.4% of exports by value that has been promoted here these goods are mainly uh, encouraged from labor intensive industry right because labor intensive industry will get you know duty free access to australian market it is bound to create more than 10 lakh jobs more than 10 lakh jobs in both the nations all right so there is a lot of employment opportunity not only in this context but also let's look at this post study it is post study work visa to indian students in australia for 3 to 4 years on a reciprocal basis ओके सो अगर आप पुराने डेली करंट अफेयर के वीडियोस को रिवाइज करोगे तो यू विल आल्सो कम अक्रॉस द स्कीम दैट वाज लॉन्च बाय ऑस्ट्रेलियाज फॉरेन मिनिस्टर व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलियाज फॉरेन मिनिस्टर इट इज मेरिस पेन राइट मेरिस और मॉरिस पेन हैड लॉन्च अ स्कीम नोन एज मैत्री स्कीम राइट मैत्री स्कीम बेसिकली basically provide scholarships to deserving indian students in australia right study scholarships but also even after they complete their study they will be given post work visa right they will they their degrees and professions will get recognized in the australian market all right that is also a very important requirement uh, to get jobs abroad in australia that is recognition of profession all right so on a reciprocal basis means that indi australian citizens can also work on the same lines here in india all right so zero duty access to australia on coal sheep meat wool lng alumina metallic ores manganese copper you all know about these minerals right these are some very rare earth metals and strategically it is very very important for india all right so these were some key provisions uh, about this ecta partnership all right so basic objective is ka underlying objective ye kya hai ki australia currently is very very dependent on china for its global supply chain right global supply chain pe uh, australia jo hai that is very dependent on china right china still despite the covid-19 pandemic china still dominates the global supply chain and especially in the indo, indo pacific region so a few months ago japan and australia signed a pact that pact was known as supply chain resilience initiative right that is known as supply chain resilience initiative राइट right, तो जो भी डिसरप्शन होते हैं सप्लाई चेन में स्पेशली इन द इंडो पैसेफिक रीजन राइट स्पेशली इन द इंडो पैसेफिक रीजन वट एवर डिसरप्शन आर देयर इन द ग्लोबल सप्लाई चेन दैट यू नो हैम्पर द मार्केट एंड फॉरन ट्रेड राइट उसकी रेजिलियंस को बढ़ाने के लिए ऑस्ट्रेलियन जापान स्टार्टेड ऑफ दिस इनिशिएटिव एंड इंडिया इज मोस्ट लाइकली टू ज्वाइन इट एंड ऑफकोर्स इट इट्स अंडरलाइंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू काउंटर द ओवर डिपेंडेंस ऑन चाइनीज dominance in global supply chain all right so these are some it, some of its very important implications all right iska ek underlying aap uh, motive ye jaan lijiye that 2018 in the year 2018 uh, india uh, australian government released a document that is india economic strategy 2035 right and in this document australian government recognized the potential of indian market in the next 20 years for australian economy right there are so many opportunities in the indian market uh, for the australian economy that no other country can substitute indian market for australia right and this document aims to lay down a comprehensive road map and this ect is of course the first step towards it all right आपको ई सी टी ए इसलिए भी सिग्निफिकेंट है वाई बिकॉज अ फ्यू ईयर्स वन टू टू ईयर्स अगो देर वॉज अ न्यूज राइट इट वॉज अ मेजर इवेंट दैट इंडिया ऑप्टेड आउट फॉर आर सी ई पी दैट इज रीजनल कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इकोनॉमिक पार्टनरशिप से इंडिया ने ऑप्ट आउट किया था फॉर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन्स मे बी वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दीज रीजन्स इन द सेपरेट वीडियो बट यू शुड नो दैट after that this is one of the major agreements between india and a developed economy 
All right. <clears throat> Now let's have a look about the key areas of significance between Australia and India. Right? Australia or India में key areas of significance क्या है Key areas of significance include defence and strategy, resource and minerals, soft power and Indian Ocean region. All right. So let's just discuss one of these points one by one. Defence and strategy में सबसे important defence and strategy and Indian Ocean region they are both interconnected. सबसे पहला point हमारा क्या आ जाएगा quadrilateral grouping, right? जो हमारा quadrilateral security dialogue है that is uh, that includes first it included US, Japan and India. Australia joined later on, right? So quadrilateral security dialogue focuses on a free fair competitive indo pacific region right indo pacific region ko free and important area you know important area of trade ko kaise maintain kiya jaye that is very very important right indo pacific policy was first pursued by the us right so quad basically focuses on uh, the regional connectivity of the indo pacific region all right now let's just have a look about it defense may sabse important uh, kya kya points hai india aur australia ke beech mein they include regular joint naval exercise it is very very important to note that there is no air force defense exercise between australia and india australia and india ka joint army exercise ka name hai austra hind right it is known by the name of austra hind and joint naval exercise is ausindex all right ausindex was also held in the year 2021 right and also in in the year 2020 uh, right jab india and australia ka first uh, indo in the first indo australian summit virtual summit right during lockdown during the time of pandemic in the first indo australian virtual summit virtual summit this agreement was signed that is mutual logistics support agreement right wherein the indian army the indian navy especially the indian navy will be able to access all the facilities right kon kon si facilities be it fuel resources be it health and medical be it food supplies be it even the defense supplies right jiska shortage humko ho jata hai especially in far off countries like australia right so that the indian navy or any of the indian armed forces will be able to attain in australia right and the same thing that australian army will be able to avail in india All right, so this will up. Uh, it is a reciprocal as access to military logistics security. All right, so what it is main objective was to increase ausindex space का क्या असर पड़ेगा जितने भी joint naval exercises, specially naval exercises होती हैं. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, interoperable interoperability will improve. Right. interoperability between the two armies will improve right there will be more flexibility right it will also open up uh, you know ways on how uh, one country can use the uh, military and equipments military and defense equipments of another country all right so this will this is the key agenda over here another very important uh, partnership agreement that was signed between india and australia was comprehensive strategic partnership all right so this comprehensive strategic partnership between india and australia this uh, basically includes what it was signed in the year 2018 right and this comprehensive partnership uh, comprehensive strategic partnership is a 2 plus 2 policy initiative right so 2 plus 2 policy initiative ka matlab kya hota hai ki india ke foreign minister and india ke defense minister and australia ke foreign minister and australia ke defense minister will hold a strategic partnership meeting between each other all right another very important and key theme of comprehensive partnership strat, uh, strategic partnership is uranium supply australia ne 2012 mein india ke sath ek deal sign kari thi comprehensive nuclear deal 
right despite the fact that india is not a signatory to the non proliferation treaty uh, australia agreed to supply uranium in to india in the year 2012 all right the agreement it came into effect in the year 2014 all right and 2017 may first sample shipment of uranium was received from australia to india all right so even in future also there is a lot of scope uh, for india to get access to uranium from australia given that the deal has already been signed and also india and australia are comprehensive strategic partners all right so this was very very important here you can see indo pacific region ye map maine kyu dala so that you can get a broader outlook right this map us india japan asian region and australia right this indo pacific region right to enable free and fair trade right uh to reduce dominance and exertion by other countries especially the expanding countries like china in this region especially in the asian region right and also to free uh to fight major challenges major challenges kya hai indo pacific region ke these are smuggling smuggling ho gaye right terrorism right terrorism climate change right there are many micronesian islands over here in indo pacific region that are very very prone to climate change and of course india australia and us partnership will help deal with these issues all right smuggling terrorism climate change these are some shared challenges but uh, in the indo pacific region right and india and japan are key partners to fight off these challenges right especially in the quad summit especially through this quad summit right another very very important exercise that i forgot to tell you guys about right is the quadrilateral uh, security dialogue ki jo joint exercise hoti hai known as your malabar exercise right malabar exercise is conducted between india australia japan and us all right again this is to boost and assert sovereignty and freedom of all the nations in this indo pacific region all right Australia joined Malabar exercise much later first it was only conducted between India Japan and US All right so let's come down to key resource supplies we already had a talk about it at length coking coal coking coal is very very important for steel production in India All right and India has a shortage of coking coal coking coal same thing as thermal cleaner source of thermal coal that we import from australia so for steel industry and also for the power sector the th thermal power sector australian imports uh, of uh, coal is very very significant to australia another reason is that india will also holds a lot of potential to reduce carbon footprint of australia right why because there is also कॉमन बट डिफ्रेंशिएटेड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज के बारे में आप सब लोगों ने सुना होगा ठीक है ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज अ डेवलप्ड इकोनॉमी एंड इंडिया इज अ डेवलपिंग कंट्री राइट ऑस्ट्रेलिया बाय डिफॉल्ट इज मोर बर्डनड इज मोर बर्डन टू टू रिड्यूस इट्स कार्बन फुटप्रिंट राइट इट हैज मोर ड्यूटी एंड मोर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू इन्वेस्ट इन अदर सोर्सेस ऑफ रेन्यूएबल एनर्जी दैन इंडिया और राइट सो कार्बन कॉमन बट डिफ्रेंशिएटेड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज हैं right Aust uh, australian government australian economy is more uh, obligated to reduce its carbon footprint so it can of course exports its excess carbon footprint to more developing nations like india all right that will balance out the growth all right another important fact major nickel and cobalt uh, mines that are located in australia right India lacks these rare earth metals, right? Rare earth metals basically polymetallic nodules में पाए जाते हैं that are found deep beneath the ocean. 
all right and india has been has spent years and years of research right years and years of scientific ed- expeditions to the bottom of the central indian ocean right it is uh, to extract those rare earth metals right india does still does not has any independent resource of these rare earth metals and because it is a very very costly pro- uh, you know project right india still depends a lot on latin american countries and china for its import of rare earth metals that include nickel right that very crucial and strategic metals that are used in the industries today these are nickel these are cobalt copper manganese all right i hope you can understand these uh, scientific names for nickels Uh, these uh, metals sorry and even lithium lithium sabse zyada china and latin american countries se export kiya jata hai now these metals are very very crucial for india to become atmanirbhar in manufacturing as well right for electrification of vehicles right so this in this term also and even gold imports from australia it is very very important and significant for india another very uh, important this is the kakadu national park right kakadu national park in australia right and this is a uranium mine in kakadu national park right 31% of the world's uranium reserves are held in australia all right so this is strategically very very crucial for india in future if it wants to expand its nuclear power capacity all right now let's have a look at another aspect of indian australian relationship that is your soft power right soft power mein indian origin residents are the fourth largest groups of overseas born australians right these are the fourth largest group of over just imagine you already know you already have an idea the, the amount of indian diaspora that exists in australia all right despite that the australian government wants to boost and enhance more people and people contact between india and australia sabse pehle we discussed about maitri scheme right you can find it out in our previous current affair videos right point based visa by australian government right point based visa by australian government we will discuss about it राइट right, सबसे पहले ये जान लेते प्रोफेशन रिकग्नेशन राइट इंडिया में जितने भी सर्टिफाइड प्रोफेशन एंड डिग्रीज हैं वो सब ऑस्ट्रेलिया में रिकग्नाइज करी जाएंगी सो दैट इंडियन कैन गेट एक्सेस टू जॉब्स ओवर देयर और राइट नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट पॉइंट बेस्ड वीजा बाय द ऑस्ट्रेलियन गवर्नमेंट राइट सो ऑल द माइग्रेंट वर्कर्स राइट ऑल द माइग्रेंट वर्कर्स इट कैन बी मी इट कैन बी यू आई हैव अ स्किल यू हैव अ स्किल just for the sake of an example if we are looking for a job opportunity in australia we are a migrant worker all right and we have to write this skill based test right wherein the australian authorities will assess our proficiency in english it will assess our proficiency in the skills that we claim we have right and the skills that are included in the in the skill based test right what are the skills the skills range from chartered accountant it ranges from engineers and it even includes vegetable cultivators right all and almost every skill that can be that you can count off is recognized in australia right and once uh, once a migrant worker gets a skill based visa by the australian government not only he or she can have access to healthcare over there he or she also has the option to become an australian citizen not only that a skilled migrant worker can also sponsor a relative uh, an indian relative to uh, be eligible for workforce over there all right and unlike in other countries like us and uk where a migrant worker has to get permission from their employ- employers if they have to change their location or job a skilled migrant worker in australia has the freedom to change n number of jobs any number of times all right and also very important uh, fact that the large number of indian diaspora is found in australia is because the skilled migrant workers can recommend any relative in the australian uh, embassy that okay this is a, mi- a migrant worker and he or she is eligible for the skill right and that recommended person is also f- uh, subjected to the same facilities as the uh, uh, visa holder 
right skilled migrant worker visa holder by the australian government all right so these are some very very important and key initiatives that india has taken up uh, and india and australia both have taken up to strengthen their ties to strengthen their ties over the years why because in india and australia not only uh, are very very important partners but they also have a shared responsibility right they also share a lot of things in common right they are both free and open minded democracies free and open democracies right they respect and value sovereignty integrity and freedom of trade in the indian ocean region all right and they also have both have a colonial past they both were members to the commonwealth of nations all right so these are all the facts right that are important in indian australian partnership the diplomatic ties are very very old all right i don't want to get into it the history but they have a lot of things in common right they both are fighting climate change ocean pollution is also very important it is also very interesting to note that the monsoon winds that are experienced by the uh, indian subcontinent right even in northern australia is very very important for the circulation of these monsoon winds all right whenever you have time whenever you want to learn a little about geography you should learn about it all right darwin is a very important place darwin is a very important place for el nino right el nino oceanic current movement all right i don't want to get too deep into that but this is the map of australia right आप सब बताइए ऑस्ट्रेलिया का कैपिटल क्या है मेनी पीपल आई नो विल हेयर से सिडनी बट द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज कैन बेरा इज द कैपिटल ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया और राइट कैन बेरा दिस इज द ग्रेट डिवाइडिंग रेंज ग्रेट डिवाइडिंग रेंज पे कैन बेरा है यहाँ से ओरिजिनेट होता है ऑस्ट्रेलिया का मोरे डार्लिंग रिवर हेयर ओनली यू हैव सिडनी मेलबर्न सम ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिटीज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया राइट वी हैव द विक्टोरिया डेजर्ट ओवर हेयर and the most important the most important geographical feature of the entire world today that australia has is the great barrier reef right the great barrier reef that is facing dangers to climate change is also located offshore australia all right so i hope the video was very very insightful right i hope aap sabko bahut deep insight mila regarding indian australian relationship all right the objective of the video was not to make you not to help you mug up uh, you know uh, the provisions of the uh, economic trade uh, uh, economic cooperation and trade agreement all right but to help you develop a backdrop of the significance of indian australian relationship once you understand that right once you understand ki australia or india ka trade kitna important hai किन किन फील्ड्स में इम्पॉर्टेंट है राइट एंड वॉट एस्पेक्ट्स इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट यू विल ऑब्वियसली ऑटोमेटिकली बी एबल टू फिगर आउट वॉट दिस ई सी टी ए इज ऑल अबाउट आफ्टर ऑल राइट मेजर मेजर अगर आप फिर से रिवाइज करने के लिए एक ओवर व्यू देखो तो ई सी टी ए का मेन एम क्या है रिसोर्सिस पीपल एंड ट्रेड राइट just like we uh, read about this in entire slide resources people trade and also of course defense relationship and cooperation uske liye bahut important security dialogue hai that is quadrilateral security dialogue right i hope the video was import uh, useful right you had fun watching it you learned a lot of things thank you so much for watching and in case you have any doubts do write it down in the comments below thank you so much for watching take care and bye bye